Hey guys, Daryl here from NL United. Again, I'm out here in mainland with Zeta Hinks and uh, David out here now six days. It's the 21st of January, 2023. And I just wanted you to explain to people how the shifts are operating, how long we're out here for every day and uh, how long you're planning on staying out here. How long we're planning on staying out here? We're not going nowhere. Uh, it's, it's a difficult process. It certainly is. We need so many volunteers. We, we do it in shifts. It's too cold and it's too hard for everyone to, to for someone to come here and stay all day. So we try our best and we do it in shifts. Uh, we still need more volunteers. The night shift is a little bit more difficult and we certainly won't leave the place unattended at night. 24 seven. Six days. Six days. And Always someone here on the site. And I saw your, when Tony Wakeham showed up yesterday, they were asking him about, oh, he said, do you guys just want to get your water fixed or do you want to have this uh, issue with the zoning fixed or what? And then you guys were like, no, we don't want turbines. Can't believe he even asked something like that. Like, what are you fighting against? He said, are you fighting for the water or are you fighting against the windmills? Doesn't one go with the other? Yeah. Like Without the turbines, you wouldn't have the problem. We with wouldn't that. have the problem with our water. Right. We've, there's generations of livelihood here. Our yeah. great grandparents were, most of us here are all Indian descent. We all got our status, uh, well, for those that the government allows to, to have it anyway. Right. Yeah. But it's been generations on top of generations that our ancestors lived here on this land and drank the same water that we are drinking today. It never killed anyone back then. Right. Why should we stand here today and let someone come in and ruin the only supply that we have? My opinion, that is called an environmental terrorist. That's what I would consider World GH2. They're trying to use wind turbines to fix climate change. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it is ridiculous. It's totally you ridiculous. destroy the climate. And to use the port port Peninsula as the sacrificial lamb yeah. for <laughs> wind turbines, they are massive. They are 650 feet in the air. Yeah. Their blades is at least anywhere from 250 to 300 feet long. That's massive. Yep. structures on our beautiful peninsula. So they were up here already putting up measurement towers. They said the wind was perfect in Port of Port, but now they need to measure the wind apparently. And as far as I knew, when I talked to the girls in ETC, they were up here with no permits, half, half the stuff they were doing. In a watershed, yeah. a protected area that an application was sent in by this community. And the minute the government received the application, until it was approved, it would still had to remain a protected area. The government knew that, but they allowed this company in. These environmental terrorists, they allowed them in. What's going on with the houses? I see that people's houses are uh, up for bid. Or they're, on, yeah. they're on the map anyway. So it's, oh, it's, it's the green zone. Them houses that's into the green zone. So Tony says that he's going to fix that. Okay, that's great. But how about if we just stop the entire project, right? That's kind of the goal here, that's right? That's what we want. I asked them exactly that. When he said that he could take this off and, okay, well, maybe we can... We want all the green off the map. Right. We want World GH2 off our so it's peninsula. It's not just about mainland. It's, it's just not about just about mainland. Right now, the yeah. fight is in mainland. All of the peninsula needs to be aware that they got to fight this as well. Yeah. Because it's coming to their community next. Yeah. The water that's to our tap that's poisoned today is coming to a tap near you. Yeah. So what are they going to do about it? We were told today we by a resident of Piccadilly that uh, the green zone is actually right to their watershed too. There's a lot there of There was a resident here today and that's exactly what they told us. They said the, the, the green zone is literally at their water. So right. they will be next. They will be. People has to be aware of that. They said that there's here. over 30 wind proponents that came to the provincial government when they opened up the they dropped the moratorium on wind. How come the other 30 proponents haven't been given a chance to make a bid on everything, and this guy here just walks in and says, well, that's mine? I don't that's, understand. That's, that's, that doesn't sound right. So how come Reezy's got the magic bullet all of a sudden? We don't understand. Right? We don't understand who paved the road for him. Yeah. How, this must have been in the works is a while. Well, we're going to find out. Behind we're going to keep digging. What I don't like is that I, I don't like this slow frog boiling thing where I see the company coming in. Uh, like John Hogan coming in. But well, what can we do to address your problems? Or Tony saying, as like every step of the way as this project moves forward, we'll address your concerns. No, stop the project. Stop it. That's not happening in Port of Port, period. The only time they're getting through our blockade is when he comes here and he tells us we gotta go get our equipment, we're off the 
peninsula. Right. We'll walk you back. That's it's, it. It's we gotta, will walk you it's back. It's got to be gone. Yeah. It's got to be so gone. So wind projects usually work up to about 1%. $12 billion, 1% is $120 million. They're talking about $10 million divided up between, what, 40 communities over three years. It's not even not even 1% of the project. It's a slap in the face yep. for everything everybody worked for out here. Yep. Tony's job, and any government official, Goody Hutchings too, is to listen to the people out here. It's not like there's, uh, what, five, 10 people. There's thousands of people that don't want it, right? And if they don't believe our poll that brought us 84% against it, by all means, come out and do your own poll. Yeah. We never did tell them that they couldn't do their own poll. Yeah. They just don't want to believe ours. Exactly. Why? And what are we going to say to the media? Because we want the media to come here next week. So we want Don Bradshaw from NTV News to get his butt out here and do his job. And CBC, one of your editors, send somebody out here. What do you think? We could sure use it. We are trying. Please show some compassion. Help us out here on this little peninsula help us fight these monster companies that's coming in to rape our land and to leave us with a poisoned water supply.